So sometimes in architecture school or in the office or in any other kind of context, you might be asked to make a nolly map. At its most simplest, a nolly map is really just about the portrayal of positive and negative spaces as far as a plan is concerned. So it's a map of access or if you like permeability or if you like how public or private a city is. Now, if you want to make your own nolly map, you can do so very quickly using QGIS. So let's do that. First of all, start up a new project in QGIS. And then just as a way of keeping yourself orientated, we're going to add an open street map base map in order to see where we're operating. So whether it's a separate panel down here or if it's a tab, it doesn't really matter. You want to find your browser, then find your XYZ tiles. You won't have this one, but you will have this one, OpenStreetMap. So double click that in order to bring up the OpenStreetMap XYZ tiles. Zoom into wherever you want to create your nolly map. Let's say, for example, London. And then we're going to use a plugin in order to extract the data from this data set that is otherwise being streamed into our QGIS as an XYZ tile. So to do that, we need a plugin. So we go up to our plugins menu, manage and install plugins. So the plugin is called Quick OSM, all one word. You can see I've got an old version of this already installed, so I'm going to upgrade it, but you can just install it. Plugin reinstalled successfully. I'm gonna press close. And then in order to use my plugin, it doesn't actually live in the plugins menu. Confusingly, it lives in the vector menu. So if we head up to vector, down to quick OSM, and we will be presented with this menu. What this little plugin does is basically allow us to send a query to the OpenStreetMap server. Now we're streaming the OpenStreetMap server directly into our map space behind here but if we want we can send a query that says please give us the polygons or the lines or the points that are being used to construct the map so you don't necessarily get the symbology which tells you what color to make it but you get the shapes and that's really all we're after if we want to make a nolly map we just want the shapes of these buildings now you can tell it to grab every single polygon and line and point there is uh, within a determined query area, but that would be too much data. So we need to narrow it down a little bit. And the way we can narrow it down is by saying, just give us the buildings. Now, fortunately, there's a, a subcategory of the OpenStreetMap data, which is called buildings. So if we go to our key tab and go down to building, then what that means is it's going to bring in all of the building data. So all of the polygons which are flagged as being a building will be brought in. And then we can leave value blank and we can set the query area. That is how much of the data set we want to ask to query as being determined by our canvas extent. So that's literally the window that we see here now. If I move my canvas, if I move this window, then I'm effectively changing the area that will be queried. So I'm gonna zoom in once more just to make things a little bit less heavy for the program. Go back to my plugin window and then just press run query. Okay, and it looks like that has been successful in loading things in, so quick. So we can remove that go to our layers and we'll see that we've got buildings, 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 and the three different types of format, vector data can appear at. We don't really need to worry about lines or points. In fact, we can go ahead and just remove those. And we're left just with our buildings. And you can see that these have been cropped to the canvas window. Now, really important is that this layer is only being stored within the scratch memory of the program at the moment, which means if I was to quit out of this project, load it back in, I might still see a layer 
called building here, but the data will have been lost. So in order to make sure that doesn't happen, first of all, we're going to save our project. And then we're going to either double click on this little memory chip icon here, temporary scratch layer only, double click on that, which is going to ask us to save the scratch layer. We can also right click on the layer and say make permanent. So those are two different options. I can turn off open street map and we're left just purely with our data. Now, if I want to complete the process of making this very simple nully map, I can right click on the properties, go to the symbology tab of my layer and change the fill color from whatever it's been randomly assigned to black. Press OK, press OK. And there you are. There's your Nolly map in about five minutes. If you want to see how to export that, then you will just have to check out one of the other videos on the channel, which tells you exactly how to do that to scale according to the size of your paper.